In his first extensive piece of writing as Pope, Pope Francis lays out a vision of the Catholic Church dedicated to evangelization in a positive key, with a focus on society's poorest and most vulnerable, including the elderly and the unborn. The Joy of the Gospel, released November 26th, emphasizes some of Pope Francis's signature themes, including the dangers of economic globalization and spiritual worldliness. The Church's message, the Pope writes, has to concentrate on the essentials, on what is most beautiful, most grand, most appealing, and at the same time, most necessary. With the essentials, what shines forth is the beauty of the saving love of God made manifest in Jesus Christ, who died and rose from the dead. Inspired by Jesus' poverty and concerned for the impoverished, Pope Francis calls for a church which is poor and for the poor. The poor have much to teach us, he writes. We're called to find Christ in them, to lend our voices to their causes, but also to be their friends, to listen to them, to speak for them, and to embrace the mysterious wisdom which God wishes to share with us through them. Pope Francis reiterates his earlier criticisms of an idolatry of money and other ideologies that defend the absolute autonomy of the marketplace and financial speculation, which he blames for the current financial crisis. He emphasizes that the church's concern for the vulnerable extends to unborn children, the most defenseless and innocent among us. He says their defense is closely linked to the defense of each and every other human right. A human being is always sacred in any situation and at every stage of development, the Pope writes. Once this conviction disappears, so do solid and lasting foundations for the defense of human rights. The Pope ends by invoking Mary as the mother of evangelization and the wellspring of happiness for God's little ones.